hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to open a OneNote link directly in the desktop app on windows 10 let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time with microsoft OneNote, i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to open a OneNote link directly in the desktop app on Windows 10, for example, you're using the OneNote, the uh, web version. Now, I'm going to insert a link here. You see this? There should be an option here to insert a link. Let me just make it a little bit smaller for you guys. Enter. And then, going to insert a link. And the link is going to be our G Plus YouTube channel. If you haven't already, you might want to click the subscribe button so you'll get notifications in our latest content. Now, this will be part of the link right here. Now, for you to be able to open this, all right, click the copy link. You have two options. In the editing section right here, you can open this file directly on the desktop computer. Or the desktop app if you click that as you can see once you do that you would be forwarded to the desktop application and you have successfully opened that link right here this is going to be the link earlier if you click that you would be forwarded to this now similarly if you go to the share button all right you can share this email copy of page you can share the entire link or copy the link to a notebook you have all of these options all right because doing so it will open directly in one note for windows 10 all right and again you have the option from here to click the one no link provided in the email or chat apps and the link will automatically in the note one note desktop app it's a very easy thing to do all right and after doing so you might want to save this file export it like OneNote 2010 to 2016, you can export it as a Word document, you can export it as a PDF, an XPS, or even a single file web page, all right? And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.